Hey everyone, this is Tia with the Arcane Bear. This is part one of our trading series. So one of the things we're gonna look at is some of the psychology and the waves behind the psychological movements that are happening on our trading desk. So first things first, this is an Elliott wave. You have a standard up one pattern, down two, up three, down four, up five. Now, this, I wasn't drawn the exact way I think it is. I think the Elliott number three is usually a bit more pronounced than it is shown here. These are all shown almost as equal movements up, and we do not believe that. So don't take this as exact reference, but we believe the three wave generally goes and extends a lot higher. So if we're looking at the 10x idea for, as an example, we're gonna use this as, uh, the one, because this we don't actually count this as a wave. This is more of just a consolidation period because in back, back in time, we'd already gone up that high. So we're going to use this bottom as our as our Elliott wave extension. First thing we're going to do is drop a Fibonacci retracement. We'll do another video on that next. But for now, let's just focus on the Elliott wave, okay? So we can see generally how we think the third wave moves because we believe this was the third wave and the third wave that is happening for pay token right now. So if we go to our charts, we take out an Elliott wave or an Elliott impulse wave is what they call it. It goes one to two, two, or sorry, zero to one, one to two, two to three. See how that third wave t right now is looking a lot more extended than the first. We believe it then comes down four is quite shallow, somewhere almost near one. And then you get a five, which is extends above, but not by much. That's what we believe most Elliott waves look like, that the third wave is, is quite a bit longer than the first and the fourth to the fifth. So from zero to one, right? And then one to two goes down and then you have confirmation of that trend as soon as you break that high, which is what we were pointing out as a buy point for 10X, somewhere around 0 0.0069, the last all-time high. And once you broke out of that, you could have bought, like we had said, and then boom, this nice run up into the third wave. So now we're gonna have this consolidation and then the drop down, of sometimes quite deep and shallow, and then the run up to Elliott 5. <coughs> so where did the Elliott wave come from? Let's take a quick look at Investopedia here. What does they say? Ralph and Nelson Elliott developed the Elliott wave theory in late 1920s. Elliott believed that stock markets, thought to behave in somewhat of a chaotic matter, in fact traded in these repetitive cycles. In this article, we'll take a quick look at behind the Elliott wave. So here we go, we'll just jump right in, okay? Elliott proposed that the market cycles resulted from investors' reactions to outside influences, predominantly psychology of the masses at the time. So this profound thought that the upward and downward swings of the mass psychology showed up in the same repetitious patterns, which then divided into smaller patterns, which he termed waves. So these Eli or Elliott's theory is somewhat based off the Dow theory in that stock prices move in consecutive waves, based off the fractals of nature. However, Elliott was able to break down these anal and analyze the markets in a much more greater detail. Basically that these fractal mathematics and structures, which are ever so smaller on scale, infinitely repeat over and on top of themselves. Elliott then discovered that stock trading patterns were structured in such a way, and he took the next obvious step and began to see how these patterns would repeat and use them as predictive indicators for future moves. Although, we just want to quickly interlie that you can't actually use this as a prediction. Ah, here we go. This is a much better version. See how the, the wave three is really, really a nice big extension, and you have some rear, you, you want to catch that third wave. So sometimes buying in the first may not even be a great idea because we have no idea where we are. But if we get a confirmation that this is the first wave, the second, and we're moving into the third by a breakout here, this extension is more than the extension of four to five. So we often wait to get confirmation from the zero to the one to the two and then to the third to break out, to prove our point that we're not just jumping in a trade and don't know where we are because you can't rely on these things as predictive ideas, right? So in these financial markets, Elliot then realized that for every action, there's a greater or opposite reaction. So the price movement up or down must then be followed by a contrary movement. Since price action is divided into these trends and correlations of sideways movements, trends then show the main direction of prices while corrections move against these Elliott labeled waves, impulsive and corrective. So impulsive are the moves up from one, two, three, four, five, and then we move down A, B, C, D, down to E. And we almost will correct from E down to number two here. So you get a con pretty consecutive wave. If you were buying in down here, you'll get the chance to again. Often people will chase on the third. That's why we get a bunch of extra th upward thrush or upward thrust. No one wants thrush, I'm sure. <laughs> That'd be horrible, it's like getting scurvy. Anyways, 
entertainment value, just quickly interlude here. This is not trading advice. Financially speaking, legally speaking, I have to tell you that. This is for entertainment and educational value only. So on 10X here, we're making that third wave move and may see that extra thrust because now people are like, oh, I missed the boat, they're jumping in. And we still have room to buy back in lower and take a whole nother wave out. So what Elliot is also saying is that you have multiple smaller versions of that same idea running up amongst you. Have one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. All the way up and down, almost to where you had originally bought in at around the last end of the third movement before. Right? So you get a chance to ride this whole thing if you're paying attention. This is based off fractals of the universe. So this is an esoteric way to look at trading. Or actually, let's for branding sake say this is an arcane way to look at trading. Right? We're using some of the structures of nature and universe from a very pragmatic level without woo-woo to make money. So what are we doing right now? We're investing in ourselves by the knowledge that we're learning and we'll be investing that through our own education by trading. And I'm going to let you know that you're going to lose money while doing this, but this is like a fight. If there are 10 rounds, you win six of them, the other guy loses four, you've effectively beat the game, right? And you've won because you've come out ahead 60% of the time and lost 40, which means you gained and only lost 40%. So if you made an extra thousand dollars, lost 400, and you can repetitively do that or repetitively do that, you are successful because you're going to fail. So recognize that your costs and learning are going to come out of your own pocket for the first few of these and be okay with that. People spend and waste tens of thousands of dollars to go to a school that takes them years and years to ever get the money back that they put in. This, you, if you're good, you're smart, and you do not trade emotionally, which means don't put yourself into trades you're not willing to commit to for a long time. So secondarily, do not invest in anything that you cannot sit with for three to five years. I invest in things in my life, whether it be personal relationships, business, or plants and food, only if I think they're gonna return in the three to five year basis. If they do not meet that model, I will not give them the time and space. It's not worth my functionality right now and I do not have that time to just waste on losing because you will lose more often than not if you trade emotionally. So trade logically, trade intelligently, trade from fundamentals and pay attention to technicals. If you like our videos, this is the first of our educational idea. This was Elliott Waves and Elliott Wave Patterns from impulsive to corrective, okay? So remember to like, share, subscribe, do all those fun things. Don't like, don't share, don't subscribe. It's up to you. It doesn't really matter to us. This information is valuable and the people that want to learn will learn. Pareto's principle says 80% of the people, 20% will be successful. And then of that 20%, maybe 5% will actually really act on the information that we're giving you. So please realize that all of this information should not just be for the 5%. It should be for everyone. Take it, use it, and empower yourself because that's what this is wisdom and knowledge of the universe applied in a trading technical standard through fundamentals of psychology emotion okay so this is Tio with the arcane bear thank you for joining us we'll see you on the other side